playing tip we're going to focus on is in the play of the hand when you are in a trump contract. So you're drawing trumps. The first thing you're going to need to do is count how many trumps the opponents have. This is very important to do because you need to know how many trumps are out in the enemy's hands. Very often when you're in a trump contract, you're going to be drawing the trumps first. You want to get rid of the trumps held by the opponents so they can't steal your thunder by trumping some of your otherwise winning tricks in the other suits. You're going to need to remember to count how many trumps are left out as you go about drawing them. You should be able to count them all on one hand. A little tip there, if you can't, you're in the wrong contract. Because you should be in a trump contract when you've found a fit of at least eight or more cards. That means only five or less are with the opponents. You're going to need to stop drawing the trumps when the only trump left out is the highest trump. There's nothing you can do about it. It's going to win a trick at some point. Don't bother drawing it. Just let your opponent take that trick whenever they trump him with it. You also need to stop drawing trumps when your opponent's trumps have run out. That's why you need to keep a careful count on them. No point wasting your trumps drawing cards that the opponents don't have. So once you've got all of their trumps out, that's another reason to stop drawing the trumps. Let's have a look at drawing the trumps in action. On this hand, you've reached a contract of four hearts, so you're at the game level and you need to make ten tricks. Have a look at your hand and dummy's hand in more detail. The lead that has come from West is the King of Clubs. When you're in a trump contract, you tend to count your losers. So let's have a look at South's hand, your hand, and count your losers in each suit. Well, you hold just the nine of spades, and you can see your lovely partner has popped up with the ace, so you haven't got a loser in spades. In the trump suit itself, well, you've got a nine card fit, and again, your lovely partner, I'd kick them on, they've come up with the ace of hearts for you, so you're not likely to have any losers in the heart suit. The club suit, which has just been led, well, you had two losing clubs, but look, your partner again has come up with an ace, but you've got one loser there in clubs. With the diamond suit, well, you've got some nice diamonds, but you are missing the ace, so you've got a loser in diamonds. So with one club loser and one diamond loser, that means your contract of four hearts is guaranteed. You can definitely make ten tricks if you draw trumps. So don't delay, and on this hand, you would look to draw the trumps immediately. So you will take the first trick with the Ace of Clubs and then immediately set about drawing your trumps. Once you've drawn the trumps, you will find that once you've pushed out that Ace of Diamonds, you should be able to make your contract. Have a look at this hand. You're in four spades. You've got the south hand there and the lead by your left-hand opponent is the Queen of Clubs. Well, you're in a trump contract, so you want to consider drawing the trumps and you need to look at how many losers you have. So let's count them up. In the spade suit, well, you're missing the ace of spades, aren't you? So that's one sure loser. In the heart suit, well, you've got the ace there and then you've got the king and queen in dummy, so you've no losers in hearts. In the club suit, well, you've got the ace and over in dummy you've got the king, so you've got one club loser. In the diamond suit, you've just got your ace of diamonds and so you've got two diamond losers. So if you add those losers up, it's four. That's not good news, is it? Because you're in four spades, you need to take 10 of the available 13 tricks. So by looking at how many losers you have, you can work out whether your contract is guaranteed or not. So your job here is to get rid of one of your losers. Can you see how you'll be able to do this? 
Well, if you look at the heart suit, can you see once you've played the ace of hearts and then crossed over and you play the queen of hearts, then when you play the king of hearts, you'll be able to get rid of one of your losers. You'll be able to ditch it on your winning heart trick over in dummy. But very important that you draw the trumps first because it would be a disaster, wouldn't it, if you started straight away to play on those heart tricks and you go and play your second heart from dummy to get rid of your loser and one of the opponents is able to trump in. So the line of play you need to take here is with the lead of the Queen of Clubs. You're going to take that with the King of Clubs, then play a low spade over to your hand to force out the Ace of Spades. Once you get back in on the next trick, well, draw those remaining trumps. Then you can go about your plan with the hearts, get rid of one of your losers, and you'll find you've made your trick tally of 10. Always be on the alert to drawing trumps to get rid of those opponent's trumps once you'll declare her in a trump contract. Good luck and happy bridging.